do you think? Looks like there's more Heartless now. Let's go check in with everyone. I think they're at Merlin's. We're back in the Hollow Bastion, it seems. And this is where a huge chapter occurs in the game. And we kind of find out what the organization's plans actually are. And for what purpose, seemingly, uh, Kingdom Hearts is a thing. So, yeah. <clears throat> and... Seemingly, the what the Keyblade also is for. Uh, yes, because uh, the Keyblade has been uh, the weapon of choice, seemingly for Sora at least, throughout this game. And indeed the previous games as well. But uh, for now I am going to go through my stuff because I don't know, I think there are some things I can sell. <clears throat> I'll certainly sell the Victory Bell, not the Pokemon, and the Comet Staff, and maybe the Adamant Shield as well, just to get some new weapons for Donald and Goofy, so let's see, I've already got the Lord's Room for Donald, so how about the Dream Cloud Shield for, um, for Goofy, why not? <clears throat> and also we will probably go across probably the most badass duck, well, almost other than Donald actually. Probably one of my favorite Disney series to ever be shown on TV. Yes, I think you know where I'm going with this. I'm also equipping the Oath Keeper Keyblade, key it seems. Well, if we go around here, we will meet Scrooge McDuck. Of course, from the uh, uh, DuckTales series. Though this time, not jumping into a giant vat of money. Instead, um... Um, spending his riches on seemingly some uh, some ice cream as well. So yeah, and um, he will tell us that um, dare I say that um, Leon is at Merlin's house, and I can't get that bloody puzzle piece. Seriously, look at that Moogle. I don't know. Seriously, yeah, I, I think we will get the high jump a bit later. Oh my God. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, don't quote me on that. We could indeed try and run along, if it was possible that is, run along the wall, but apparently that's not possible. Seriously, that's annoying as hell. Uh, so, in that case, let's go back to Uncle Scrooge and see. Apparently he's making the thing, not just buying it. This, and the ice cream he's making, by the way, is the sea salt ice cream that we saw um, Roxas leaking earlier. Oh, Cloud! What you doing? I'll get him. This time, we settle it. Me and the one who embodies all the darkness in me. Huh, I said you look kinda different, Cloud. If I do, it's his fault. Whose? Sephiroth. Tell me if you see him. Okay, what's he look like? Silver hair. Carries a long sword. Sure. Well, be seeing you, Cloud. Be careful. He messes with your head. Makes you think darkness is the only way. Is something wrong? Uh, uh... It's nothing. Hmm? I don't want you involved. You mean, you don't want me there when you go away again? I just... Listen. Even if I go far away, I'll come back. Do you mean it? Yeah. See? You don't look so sure. Well, okay. I understand. Go. Get things settled. Huh? No matter how far away you are, once you find your light, I'm sure it will lead you back here again. Right? I suppose. So I'll stay here. 
and I'll cheer for you. Okay, Cloud? Okay. Wonder if he'll be okay. He'll be fine. I'm sure there's some light in him somewhere. You're right. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, Sephiroth is an optional boss in this game, kind of like how he was in Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, although in this case we actually fight him. I don't know if he's here or not, but we will run into him a little later on. Uh, for now, I am going to show off limit form, actually. Yes, finally. Limit form basically turns you into Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora, complete with the abilities and everything else to boot. So it is a really good upgrade, which is only in Final Mix, by the way. Which is not in OG um, Kingdom Hearts 2, but given that uh, Final Mix is now pretty much the default version of uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, that's pretty much fine. Looks fine anyway, and we also get these new bug harbors, which can use magic and everything. But that being said, let's actually head into Merlin's house where we will see the Restoration Committee and seemingly Sid just p pressing whatever. Uh, okay, what is it now? What? Oh, okay. Uh, Anson? You know, I'm a computer literate. Um, all that guy seemed to go on was, was darkness, darkness, darkness. And why Ansem? You'd think the, the guy was responsible for all the heartless and possessing Riku and everything. Well, we will actually find King Mickey there, believe it or not. And also a new world, believe it or not. One that I really, really like as well. Okay, fair enough. Well, in other words, he wants us to find the computer room! Anyway, that being said, um, I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna spend the rest of this episode going into the Hundred Acre Wood. Because we did find that one new torn page in the Pride Lands, of course. So, um, yeah. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Um, so let's have a look round and, um... Then, no, I don't want to speak to Merlin, although he will give us some magic training if we do so desire. Um, so that's not it. Not near the uh, fireplace. Where we want to go to that glowing object, that is where, um, there I see, the Winnie the Pooh book is. And uh, we will get our new area now. And this pretty much brings in probably one of my favorite parts of the um, Hundred Acre Wood in Kingdom Hearts 2. Anyway, let's go in then. We're going to Rabbit's house, it seems. Oh, did it near? Come on. Eeyore, Pooh, are you okay? Gosh, that's too bad, Eeyore. After all that work. No matter. Most likely would have fallen down anyway. Well, I'll help you fix your house, Eeyore. Oh, hello there, Piglet. Thanks for offering. Wouldn't want to spoil your fun day, though. Well, hello, Piglet. And hello, somebody I don't know. Pooh, this is Eeyore. You know Eeyore, don't you? Um, I do? What could have happened to him? Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Pooh's tummy is so rumbly that it's making him forget. If we bring him some honey, he's sure to remember. Well, uh, I guess it's worth a try. Might work, but probably not. First, we gotta find some honey. 
If honey's what you're looking for, I know just the place. Follow me. Let's have an explore around here then. And the first thing we can find behind the washing line is a treasure chest. Let's see what it's got in there then. Okay, a drawing, another accessory. So yeah, there's another puzzle piece down by the uh, carrot patch. And uh, that's about it. Splendid, just splendid. This is the place I told you about. Wow, look at that. How yummy for my tummy. But doesn't that honey belong to someone? Yep, namely Rabbit, and uh, yeah, he's probably not best pleased that uh, Pooh Bear's been eating his honey again. Well, at least he didn't get stuck in the hole like he did in the, the last Kingdom Hearts game. Seriously, that was a pain. And look how... Well, actually, I don't know if they um, made Pooh even more tubby in this game and um, than normal after eating all that honey, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but he still wants the honey, even after all that. <laughs> More importantly, um, I think, um, um, uh, Pooh Bear has forgotten, um, Has forgotten rabbit as well. Seriously. So yeah, he's basically got amnesia. Thank no thanks to the actions of the heartless. I guess Sora, but no, no more the heartless. I think, which I still don't get. I don't know if they're supposed to be sentient or not. Yeah, he's got amnesia basically. Seriously, so he doesn't remember anyone until we do more mini games. I know. No, we do not um, do the whole hitting people on the head thing with Winnie the Pooh. Certainly not. Although, I guess we're kind of doing this next minigame. But it is so over the top that, um, well, uh, we'll see. Because uh, apparently Rabbit has a secret stash. Okay. And, and this next game, I, I, I kid you not, is insane. Honey Slider. Basically, it has us going throughout the 100 Acre Ward uh, on, on what was in, I dare say, the deep jungle level. Except this time, um, Pooh is riding us, um, Sora's back instead of um, us just sliding down a tree trunk. There is a damn. And it's, it's a good thing that Sora is, Sora is so happy-go-lucky here. The thing with this minigame is that we can't uh, lose too much of our health. Otherwise, we're pretty much screwed. And here's where the insanity comes in, because we just go flying out of one page onto the pages of the book, which is insane to me, seriously. This is what I mean by this minigame being so, so over the top and everything. Just the whole thing is just the most insane minigame I have seen in Kingdom Hearts 2, seriously. It tops anything I have seen in in any of the series up to this point. Seriously. Also, you probably want to pick up Winnie the Pooh once you get him. And then we're just sent, I guess, into the mountains? Seriously? I mean, we will get an area that is... Got him out, and, and we pretty much pull a Crash Bandicoot here with the giant boulder, although, yeah, we get three of them, which even Crash didn't have to deal with. Uh, maybe that more than three now, and they all go um, tumbling into the chasm, only for us to get knocked down again, seriously. 
And then we fly, fly on over back to Ludicolo Wood down a tree trunk, which honestly now reminds me way too much, although this game came out long before Sonic Lost World, it does remind me of that, so yeah. But, um... Never mind that, let's grab him. Maybe Super Mario Galaxy as well, but never mind that. We finished the mini game at least. There now, Pooh. Have just as much as you'd like. Why, thank you. Pardon me, kind somebody, but do you know where I might find another smackerel or two of honey? Oh. <sighs> My tummy seems to be telling me there's some honey right in there. Mona, I'm stuck. Ah, uh, he still doesn't remember. What in the world has gotten into Pooh Bear? Whatever it is, we better help him. Oh yes, and quickly too. No oh, stuff and fluff. One, two, three! You're okay now, Pooh. Well, I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. Why, just, just look at him. He doesn't even remember who I am. <gasps> Perhaps it's all this blustery wind, or, or maybe he actually needs more honey. Or he's, he's sleepwalking and, and dreaming. Well, if I am dreaming, which I suppose I could be, I hope that I get to the part where you invite me to lunch again very soon, Rabbit. That's right, you're always stopping by for lunch. <gasps> Wait, Pooh, you called me Rabbit. Well, of course, Rabbit. What about Eeyore? And did, do you remember Eeyore too, Pooh? Oh, hello there, Eeyore. It's ever so nice to see you today. Thanks for noticing me, Pooh Bear. And hello to you too, somebody I don't know. <sighs> well... At least you remember Rabbit and Eeyore now. <laughs>